nice. <laughs> Even though you were in the Air Force and someone had to be, <laughs> I'm going to be nice. Very good speech. This is your first speech ever? Yes, sir. Okay, all right, very good, very good. What I like most about it is one, you got up here and you didn't pass out or anything such as that, so you did well. <laughs> Based on the requirements of the speech, I'm just going to go through some of those questions really quick. Is it what strong points did you already have? Well, you were in the military, so you had a good presence up here. I take it you've been in front of people before. You did add some humor, which was very good, and that came naturally. It wasn't forced. It wasn't forced. You have a nice, strong voice when you speak. It was very easy to hear you throughout the room. One thing, and I say this over and over, is whenever I get to evaluate, I try to watch what everyone else is doing, and if they're looking at you or losing track of time and things such as that, that tells me that they're engaged on you. And people were. Therefore, I won't say anything again, therefore, <laughs> it was a good speech and it was very personal, so you could tell it was coming from your heart. You did have notes, and with this speech, you can pretty much read it if you want to. One thing I would suggest is when you do use, not that you did read it, but when you do have notes, don't use that small font. Use lots of paper, turn it, turn the print sideways, and print big, because if you get stuck reading someplace and you look down, all those words look the same. But with larger notes, you can kind of just go through them and find your place if you get lost or have a brain lapse. <laughs> What else did I notice? The other thing is you really didn't need the notes. This was your story. You know this. I would suggest maybe trying it again without the notes and just tell the story because then everyone is really focused on you and you're not looking down on occasion to try to memorize all the words. When I use notes, I have an accounting degree, so a lot of times you're trained. If we read something, we want to get every single word right. But when you get into a situation like that, you try to memorize each and everything, but if you just tell your story, then it comes across more real, and then the audience is better engaged. What else do we have here? The pictures that you had, they were great for first speech. What I would suggest, if you have something like that and you're trying to put them up here, maybe get someone to help you to hold them, or do something different because it's a little distracting when you're trying to do this and show the pictures. One other thing I noted is you said at one point, I don't have nowhere to go. And of course, that should be anywhere to go. That's fine, that's fine. I noticed a little bit of this. You were holding the podium at some times and I saw a little bit of nervousness there. We don't know if you're nervous. We don't know when you mess up, so don't worry about any of that. So. <laughs> what else do I have? Use notes. Watch the time. Practice, 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 practice. I'm out of time. It was a great speech. <laughs> <laughs> I obviously look forward to seeing more. Thank you very much.